Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to stay, like, share, subscribe, um, call your mom, ask your dad, ask your friend whether or not they believe in tarot, have conversations in the comments with other people that watch tarot. The reason I'm saying that is because I support whatever it is that you decide to do, okay? With the exception of coming for me in the collective because my aunt is still spinning the block. Needless to say, let's go ahead and get into this energy. So, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna freestyle it, okay? Let's just see what comes out. What is it that spirit wants us to see? What is it that we're supposed to know? We already know that Karmicville is Karmic Hell. We've already called out the gang stalkers. We gave them their five minutes of fame, their four minutes of funk because their stench is really funky. And we weeded them out and we figured out who they were. Needless to say, let's go ahead and get into the energy. Holy Spirit, divine ancestors of the highest white light, only of the highest white light, please and thank you. Please open the door to truth and clarity for us. Anything contrary to our pure energy, we don't give that energy consent to be here. We return it back to the sender into its native state of absolutely nothingness, okay? Here we go. Show us what it is that we need to see, divine ancestors. What is it that our spirit guides, our angel guides want us to know? What is the energy check for the overall collective? Okay, the three of wands is here on the board. Thank you, spirit. Oh, oh a whole bunch of stuff is coming out. Okay, spirit. I'm sure those will come out at some point. Thank you. All right. So there is there is still a war being waged in the spirit realm. We know that. Um, spirit is saying that the reason why this spiritual activity has to continue, why there is so much fighting in the 5D is because you're going in a new direction and your path has to be cleared. Okay. That means anything in your way, anything trying to block you, stop you, knock you down has to go. Okay. Stop, block, knock, and it's about to rock, okay? Queen of Pentacles is here because this is the energy that we're in. Very abundant Capricorn energy, Virgo energy, Taurus energy. Yeah, we're really grounded, really centered, really stable, Spirit is saying. Very focused on what it is that we're supposed to do. And this is what we have to understand is the magnitude of this energy in large amounts of numbers. With all of us vibrating to this capacity, we're like, we're we're really a force to be reckoned with. Like, seriously, okay? So the good news is coming about money. I don't know why Mayat and our ancestors keep reminding us of this. Maybe some of you have gone through some type of financial restraints. Um, maybe you've had to, you know, leave places. It looks like maybe move or something like that. Somebody went across a body of water. Yeah, you could have taken a plane and decided to move to another state. Um, for whatever reason, Spirit is saying things are going to get a little bit easier, okay? Somebody just lost a parent. Okay, my heart goes out to you. A godparent, Spirit is saying. Yeah, my heart goes out to you. I'm getting Texas. I'm getting Albuquerque, New Mexico, Arizona. Spirit is saying, no, Salt Lake City, wherever that is, okay? That's a very specific message for somebody. Again, I did not want the conflict card to come out, but Spirit is saying, let's be reminded that people still are getting their asses whooped and dragged into jail. Like, literally. Uh, again, this is what Spirit wants us to know because I, too, am totally exhausted from getting the same redundant energy from Karmic Field. I don't believe that we really care but for whatever reason, we're going to respect spirit. Spirit wants us to be aware of this energy because it's still um, present in a, like, in a sense that you kind of feel, you just feel that something's happening beneath the surface. You understand what I'm saying? Like something is happening beneath the surface. It's like, ah, uh, something is going on. Yeah, well, thank God it ain't got nothing to do with you because this is what you got going on, collective, okay? This is all judgment. I mean, it's really nothing to say. Show us what we need to see, Holy Spirit. I don't know about y'all, but this Pisces March got me feeling like a little tipsy. And I ain't even had nothing to drink. I don't drink. I can't drink. You see how naturally energetic I am? I take vitamins. This is what has me high. I don't smoke. I don't drink. <laughs> 
okay, if there's a little edible and I need to relax, I will do so. However, it's not a part of my daily routine. Like I, I haven't done that in years. Okay. Well, last year, let me, let me tell the truth. Okay. Yeah. Like a year ago, maybe around this time, but yeah, this just is a natural energy that I'm like, it is so organic. Like I'm feeding off the universe. I'm feeding off of the collective, the collective is Kalala. The collective is feeding off of me. Our good energy is literally bouncing off one another. It's a it's a beautiful mirror image of great light and abundance. Like it feels really, really good. Okay, so while we're feeling all of this abundance and feeling joy and happy, spirit needs us to know that there are still people, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't curb my enthusiasm. I just feel like as a collective, we've worked so hard to get here. We've cried enough cries. We've cried all of our tears out. We've had enough headaches and battles that it's like, you know what? Look, what, what do you want us to do? Okay. But this is necessary information. I have to respect my eye. This is what you want us to know. They're in deep regret. Okay. They always have a message and that is absolutely fine. I'm actually going to petition the court to ask that they be somewhere else other than our meetings where we're meeting collectively okay <laughs> because we're really feel, feeling like really radiant and really nice okay this is the will of fortune this is so beautiful this is us reaping all the good karma okay yeah some of these things were a long time coming okay something could be happening in the month of september and december somebody could be having a baby in september the 27th yeah um what you're feeling in this dreamy dreamy state is your intuition opening up because there's conflict you still have people that want to send you illusions and confusions well that energy can't coexist in this abundant energy right it's just not scientifically possible you know it just goes against the laws of physics it goes against the laws of mayat it goes against the spiritual law so now that energy has nowhere to go again it's going to its native state of nothingness they're still in this energy and this is the message from spirit thank you spirit thank you for using me to translate that message all right so let's see what else we got going on in the collective yeah you know a lot of us are going into hermit mode a lot of us are manifesting love a lot of us are manifesting a relationship with spirit a lot of us are just in this spirit of gratitude. We're moving uh, in silence. I mean, it's really no other way to say that. We're being guided to be silent, to be still. Peace be still, Spirit says. Spirit says, listen. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. Because something's been slowed down doesn't mean that it's been denied in its totality. Sometimes these things take time. You have to remember the level of abundance that we're asking for because a lot of you really need money right now. Like you really need money in order to move forward, okay? This is going to be provided to you, but in between time, between the time that you've asked for what you've asked for and the time that it's coming to pass, there are things in between that are here to mold and shape you to get you ready. And this is what the hermit mode is about. You have to be molded and shaped in a certain character in order to handle this level of abundance because it's a great thing, meaning it's life changing, meaning it's going to break the generational curse of financial poverty, right? So in that, the universe is saying, hey, it's going to take me a little bit of time. I'm trying to get you 2.3 million. You're going to need that to travel all over the world. Just give me a little bit of time because we have so much favor. Sometimes we get a little spoiled to favor. We're like, okay, spirit, like today, tomorrow, listen, focus on service. Spirit says, focus on service. Ask God, what is it that you want me to do today? Who do you want me to pray for? Depending on your gift, you need that to be lined up with what it is that you do for God. So if you have the gift of healing, maybe you want to go into Reiki healing, right? Maybe you have the gift of, uh, you know, tarot. Yeah. Then you need to make time to practice tarot, to sit with spirit, you know, take your cards and dedicate your cards to spirit. When you first get those cards out of the box, this is for somebody very specific. You can cleanse them with um, some Palo Santo or some sage, you know, in Africa, they cleanse their things with cigars and smoke. Um, you can cleanse it with marijuana. You can cleanse it with whatever you want. Cannabis. 
Um, needless to say, you need to make sure that you clean those cards as soon as you take them out of the box. Remember, on their way to you, they've touched many hands, lots of energies, lots of intentions. You need those cards to be clean because you're going to use those cards to help you channel certain energies for the collective, okay? In that, you have to check yourself. You want to make sure you're doing your shadow work because one thing spirit will do is stop and block and rock your ass if you're coming up in here with a blocked heart. If you're coming up in here trying to do tarot and trying to be a healer, but you're not healed, the two just don't add up. It's an anomaly. It's just not going to work. The polarities are, how am I trying to heal somebody and I'm still mad at the lady next door or I'm still mad at the ex-lover? No, you have to release. As we go forward, we constantly are releasing. We're constantly letting go of all of those energetic pulls and that is the secret to tarot, okay? It ain't no magic around that. You are the magic, right? So don't overthink that, but just be committed to spirit revealing to you what you need to do before you decide to go into tarot because we need more tarot card readers we need good tarot card readers people that are honest and true that are willing to help us and show us what i told you look let me tell you something y'all gonna stop playing up in these spiritual abundant streets <laughs> this is a tarot card reader this is a spiritual practitioner this is the hierophant this is the highest card in the spiritual deck in terms of the Ascended Masters, you are an Ascended Master. Please act accordingly. You have mastered many selves up and set, to set point, okay? So with that, oh, those birds are chirping so pretty. They're just singing outside my window. I love the confirmations. I love it when the angels stop by. Hi, angels. Yeah, this is confirmation. You know what I mean? My nose is itching. That means this, this is the truth. I love it. Um, yeah, so this is what you have to do because somebody wants to do tarot. Somebody genuinely wants to be of service. Like you're not thinking how much money you're going to make. Don't worry about that. We work for the most high. Those things happen. Okay. Now I'm not saying don't worry. I'm just saying that be mindful of your intention. Worry is very closely related and or connected to fear. So you have to be very mindful of what your intentions are when you go into this type of world. Is it an easy job? Absolutely not. Oh, y'all should see my clients outside of YouTube. Oh, sometimes I'm like, God, I got to tell him the truth. I got to tell her the truth. And sometimes it's not an easy position to be in when they're on one side and this spirit is there and you're the meat between two slices of bread because they're going through a spiritual awakening and or learning to love themselves. I'm going to be honest with you. For most people that come in lost, yeah, they're going through a spiritual awakening. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is like, yes, a spiritual awakening. Yeah, self-imposed prison. Most times when they come in and they have questions and they want these readings, they're like, I'll pay anything. I'm like, relax, calm down. Listen, my goal is to make sure that you have enough so that you can go do the work and you don't have to keep coming back and bothering me because I got my own life, okay? Outside of this, when I take that spiritual practitioner off, I'm a woman who likes to do whatever I want to do. Sometimes it's just looking at my big toe and being quiet because I've had so many people talk to me all day. I am a social loner. I'm a social butterfly, but I'm really a loner. When I go places, everybody talks to me and I'm like, okay, spirit, I know that this is my position. This is my path, but can we not today? And spirit is like, no. Oh, I just went to Walmart earlier and the lady just told me her whole story. And I'm like, I know. So I got her name. I got to pray for her. We appreciate our position, but we have to balance those energies out. We're still people. We still have to sit back and just go, okay. But every time I go, spirit got an assignment for me on aisle number five, aisle number three, the lady at the counter, they just opened up and I'm like, okay, oh, I know. None of them know what I do. None of them know that I'm a practitioner. I just get their names. I read their name tag and I go pray for them because that's what spirit guides me to do. A lot of people don't know that about me because I'm not doing it for the accolade. Yeah, I don't need no likes. I don't need that. Nah, this, this is my real life. Anyway, that's I just told you the story because maybe that will inspire you to do the same. What happens when we duplicate that kind of an effort? The world becomes a better place. So work your side of the planet and leave it better than what you found it. Okay, that's the message. Needless to say, practitioner, yes, some of you want to do tarot. So when people come in and they're in this self-imposed prison, I'm going to be honest with you. It's never about the child, the mother, the brother, the cousin, the sister. It's always about self-love. 
every single time spirit the, the, the spirit is saying let me get it out spirit thank you <laughs> spirit is saying most times when people come to me they they need love you know they're refusing to look at themselves when they come to me compulsively sometimes i get very intuitive people and they just want to confirm what they feel intuitively i've done that as a reader right I've recognized somebody maybe in a higher rank, somebody that's a little bit more evolved than myself because there's always going to be a greater or lesser of the two. That's just the way that it goes, right? And once you accept that, you learn to have a certain amount of respect for people that have been doing it a little bit longer than you. Needless to say, this is the energy. Going towards wish fulfillment, equal give and take. This is your soul tribe because this is not always equal give and take, Um you know, just you give me money, I give you money. Those things are nice. To be a receiver, a cheerful giver, and a cheerful receiver is a beautiful thing. Okay, but sometimes this is giving and receiving in the form of good energy towards one another. This is giving and receiving in the energy of, you know, listening to somebody's problems when maybe you have an issue that you're trying to work out, but you're setting aside what your personal issues are and or concerns, and you're willing to compromise in a healthy way, a healthy compromise, right? You're willing to compromise that time to give somebody else and extend a hand to hear them out because maybe they just need a listening ear. Maybe they don't want any advice. Maybe they just want you to hear them. So these are contributions that we give to one another. It's a beautiful exchange of, of energetic field. It's a beautiful exchange of energetic energies. I mean, there's really no other way else to say that. This is your soul tribe, okay? This is your soul tribe. I want you to know that the family's going to grow bigger. I pray that it does. I pray that somebody goes and duplicates this effort and has the same compassion and understanding that I um, that I truly have for you all. You know, that's my wish. That's my wish fulfillment. Yeah, don't make me cry, okay? Y'all know I'm a spiritual gangster. I gotta stay strong, but I will cry. Yeah, fire sign energy. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so look, slowest moving energy. Some of these things are taking time. My nose is itching. Why are they taking time? Because they're so great. These blessings are so great. This is just confirmation of you being on the good end of karma. The will of fortune is in your favor and you are a cheerful receiver. Be glad, be gracious. As Beyonce says, your best revenge is your paper. But just re always remember to be gracious. She says, always be gracious, right? The queen of wands is sexy, fiery. The fire signs are leading the collective like nobody else. High vibrational, evolving, ascended fire signs. Listen, I want you to know that I thank the most high for you. You have taught the earth signs how to use their fire. You have taught the water signs that it's a time for war, even when they're too sensitive and they got to get their emotions in check and balance out their polarities and their energies because a lot of water signs are like empathetic sponges. They know how to take it in, but you also have to know how to release. And this is the purpose for the moon cycles, right? Let's use the environment to help us transmute those energies, like I said, into their native state of nothingness and or transmute that energy into light and power and prosperity. Okay, this is this is alchemy. Yeah, I am the environment. I know how to walk into the room and change the entire energy of the room, okay? Oh, wow, somebody's watching. Who's watching? Somebody that you left out in the cold. Oh, that was a random, you know what I mean? Download, okay, somebody's watching. What are they doing? Uh, let me, okay, hey, hi, and hello. Welcome, como estas? You know, I don't know what else to say about this. But that you're, you're a great example. Spirit is saying, be mindful that people are watching you. You're in a leadership position. People want to know, how do you do it? What did you do? So they're taking note. So you have to be mindful of your actions. You have to be uh, held accountable for how you hold this position of power. At least you abuse it. Don't abuse your power, Spirit says. It's a lot of power to handle, right? To be all-knowing, all-seeing, and then not even that, not all the time. Because sometimes there's things that spirit don't allow me to see. There's doors that I go to open and I hear my spirit guys say, no, okay, I respect that. So there's some things that I don't know, right? And that's okay. There's some things that you don't know. But just know that people are watching. You're a leader. You're in this position of power because spirit sought for you to be there. It's written, right? This is your spot. 
when you were in your mother's womb, being molded in triple darkness, breathing underwater like a little baby fish, amniotic fluid, you were being molded and shaped for this time. Spirit says, the grand rising will be televised. Huh. Wow. Okay, spirit. Whew. Show us what we need to see. Who's watching what they want. Yeah, I just hear leadership. These people want to serve the God that you serve. And that's the beautiful part about it. Because remember, that's what it was about, was bringing people to God. All those karmic cycles, all those heartbreaks, all those random, you know, betrayals that you didn't warrant, all the unwarranted battles that you ran without realizing what was going on. You know, it's a real serious thing, right? So these are the people that are watching. They're fighting to see. No, I want to see. No, I want to see. And some of these people's spirit is blocking because they've lost a lot of their gifts. They're in purgatory. They've lost a lot of their spiritual gifts. So where maybe they had the gift of, you know, um, clear audience or the gift of foresight or dreams because they abuse their power. It's like the most high is saying, you know what? You didn't use your power correctly. You abused so many people and you thought it not robbery to be greater with me. You forgot who gave you the power. So I give it, then I take it away is what I hear. Okay. Who's watching? Fire sign energy. Okay. This could be the higher ups. Somebody is high ranked. That's a fire sign watching. That's protecting the collective. Somebody is a spiritual practitioner, a man, a woman. I get this from just high vibrational Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, like as a collective. They have like their own collective and they're watching and they're fighting and they're wanting us to win. Yeah. But at the same time, they're watching these people <laughs> watch you. While they're watching you, the higher ups are watching them. Fire is passion. Fire is fire is like war, you know, like, yeah, sometimes we have to go to war over what's worth it so that we can uh, make sure that we move forward. The path has to be clear, Spirit is saying that. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. So they're watching them watch you and you're watching God and everybody's like, what? Like if everybody just keep their eyes on God, then we'll all be at perfect peace. And maybe we wouldn't have to have this energy. But again, why do we have to go through these things? Because if life was absolutely 100% perfect, for some of us it is because it's a state of mind, right? No matter what happens, you have peace. But if it was absolutely perfect, then we wouldn't cry out to God. We wouldn't reach out to God. Yeah. Scorpionic Cancer and Pisces energy. Heavy on the water intuition. Heavy on the uh, fire just recently, just their energy. We got perfect divine unions. I can't make it up, y'all. Perfect divine unions. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Like these unions are happening. Spirit says that there are spiritual marriages taking place right now and contracts being signed over these divine connections by the higher ups, by the ascendant masters, by the most high. Maybe they've not come into fruition as of yet. And that could represent your um, your nine of pentacles. Yeah, something is slow moving. But I do see and feel that spirit is saying, I'm preparing two people for one another. Yeah. So this is a slow moving energy. Why? Because you're being molded and shaped for your counterpart. Why? Because collectively, even though you both look amazing together, you're going to have amazing, you know, sex and making love and reproducing in this great, great energy. You still have God work to do together as well. Y'all look good together and that's fine. That's beautiful. Spirit wants you to look radiant, wants you to look amazing, right? But at the end of the day, you both still work for the most high so that you're not distracted, that you're not reliving out any karmic situations where you forget to love yourself, which means your, your love for the most high is that of obedience, right? You're being prepared. It's a slow moving preparation. It's a slow moving energy when it comes to the molding and the shaping of who you two need to become in order to be in the forefront, in order to be on that platform together, traveling around the world. And we're doing this collectively. Okay. This is not an isolated group. Yeah. You are the king of, I was going to say king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Maybe the king of pentacles will come out. Okay, the four of cups is people that have missed opportunities with you. Some of you did have to walk away from your divine masculine. 
Okay. I just heard somebody say, uh, the most high, my odd, all my ancestors going to have to come down from the heavens, descend into this raggedy ass little earth. We love you, earth. We don't mean to disrespect you, but sometimes the people are a little raggedy. Anyway, they're going to have to come down here and tell me to go back to this one that I walked away from. Because you got to a point where you said, I know this is my divine masculine, but I will walk away and abandon him if I need to, <laughs> to follow spirit. This person said, I know this is my divine feminine, but if she don't stop, I'm going to walk away from her to save my life because I got a purpose. So this is these are the people that are in heavy regret. You could be having dreams about them, feeling their energy, but not really, you know. Spirit really does have you far removed from this energy. Yeah, spirit has you really far removed. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, Gemini energy, okay? This is definitely a uh, friendship, lovers. Somebody wanting to come in and give an offer. Yeah, okay, okay. Somebody you left out in the cold, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to move around that energy because I just feel like it's a little uh, mm, re redundant. Sometimes it doesn't feel abundant, so I just want to stay away from things that don't feel abundant. <laughs> Excuse me. I just feel like, yeah, this person could be really choked up. Excuse me. This person could be really choked up coming towards you. Maybe there's something that they want to say. Mm. Excuse me. I need to clear my throat chakra. Yeah, maybe there's something that they want to say that they can't get out. Maybe they're at a loss for words. Maybe they're tongue-tied. Maybe they're fumbling over their thoughts and what they want to say because, yeah, Oh, God. You're the empress. They're out in the cold. Spirit guided you to do that. Anyway, let's keep going, y'all. I got new cards coming, too, by the way. Okay? This is my old faithful deck here. This, If this deck could talk, oh, the stories it would tell. The places it's been and the things it's seen have been absolutely, <laughs> undeniably unforgettable. Some of which seems unbelievable. But it's definitely based on a true story. Okay, so overall energy for the collective. You're very strong together, okay? Yeah, you're in a very fun and childlike energy. I think Pisces um, energy, being in the Pisces season, has you very dreamy, feeling really, really good. You still got people that want to energetically try to interrupt that. But again, I, I see you as being so far removed I'm almost 100% positive and absolutely definite. One thing is for certain and two things are for sure. You don't feel this energy at all. Not like you used to. And you could be shocked. You could be like, wait, I don't, what is that? I don't feel nothing. I just feel happy. Yeah. Wow. This is awesome, y'all. Thank you for your love and support and your prayers. I can feel your good prayers. I pray for you too, and I thank you. Yeah, you've gone through a serious transformation, scorpionic energy. This transformation just happened so beautifully. Yeah, the Emperor Aries energy, okay? This represents leadership. I talked about being in this position and that somebody's watching, the people are watching, be it good, bad, or indifferent. You represent the most high based on your character, based on how you carry yourself. Right. We're not them over there. So we can't do what they do, whoever they is. Right. We work for the divine. So we have to keep a certain level of dignity, respect for ourselves. People are watching. You know, we're our, our position as leaders is changing the lives of other people that want to also step into that representation of the most high. Yeah. The four wands is here. This represents spiritual protection. Wow. Some of you could be wanting to move to a new house. Yeah. Spirit says whatever you're feeling at this time because it's so heightened, don't second guess it. You're getting a lot of good downloads that you need to follow intuitively. Um, those hunches. You need to follow those hunches. Okay. The high priestess is here. You intuitively, like I said, know that something's coming. You can feel, <sighs> I 
you still feel a little bad for the people that you couldn't help. Okay. Spirit is saying you have to release that energy from your heart chakra. Meditation, you know, maybe changing your diet. Pomegranate juice is really good for raising the heart chakra. Um, meditation, music, sounds, sounds of water, uh, the symbols. You know how they have the symbols that not, they don't sound like this, but they sound like, like that, right? That bowl or whatever. Those sounds raise the vibration. It is representation of a high vibrational frequency. And so you can kind of feel that that sound go throughout your body. It is definitely a healing energy type of sound. It puts you on a certain frequency. Yeah, the three of swords, okay? You're a little sad that certain people are not able to go into the land of milk and honey with you. And that's because you're just so compassionate. You're just a compassionate soul. Even though my eye is waging war on your enemies, you're still very compassionate and you hate the fact that people had to even go through that. Because when you went into people's lives to genuinely help them, um, your intentions were really, really good. And the fact that they never got it is very hurtful. My heart is saying, you did your job. Don't worry about that. Okay? You did what was asked of you. You were obedient to that. Now let us handle the rest. Don't feel bad because you're here. Okay? Feeling good, vibrant. You know, following your intuition. Got divine love coming through. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Don't feel bad. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, because they're like this. These people did this to themselves. They want you to have pity on them. But I promise you, when they were wishing you bad, they were laughing. It was a very uh, cynical laughter, you know, when they wanted death to come to you. So your ancestors are saying, don't feel bad, you know. Your intuition is letting you know that people are suffering. And because you are the high priestess, because you are the giver of life, you don't really like to see the suffering. But again, uh, this is necessary and vital to this person's existence, whomever they are, because they need to do better at validating their existence while on this planet, period. There ain't nothing else to say. What else do we need to see, Holy Spirit? Energy check for the collective. Yeah, you're moving forward. Cancerian energy represents controlling your emotions. Head over hard decision. Thank you. You just said exactly what I was going to say, Spirit. Why? Because the King of Swords is here. This represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but it represents intellect. Head over heart. Be smart. Rationalize. Be logical. Cancerian represents emotions. Water, right? Emotions, what you feel, intuition, high priestess energy healing energy the two have to balance themselves out so it's like you took your intellect and you just said you know what let me really look at this from a really smart standpoint because if i let my emotions lead me and my head is in the clouds and confused then now i'm making an emotional and an irrational decision based on something that could destroy me and that's not a wise thing to do yeah Ooh. Some of you are really getting creative. Some of you are creating something right now. Some of you are pregnant with ideas. You're giving birth to new ideas. Your business is your baby. You're cultivating something absolutely incredible. Okay, show me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you got choices. Spirit is saying you're going to have a lot of choices because a lot of you feel like I really wish such and so and so and so were with me here right now to celebrate. And Spirit is saying, we all got free will, but the way your ancestors are fighting, you could very well try and maybe even attempt or even think about going back. And Spirit is like, no, baby. No, your, your soul tribe is here, baby. This is your family, okay? We're here to support you. We love you. We pray for you. We love 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 one another around here for real. Nobody's trying to say anything slick to you and hurt your feelings or you're going through something where you need to heal. You know, we're, we're um, doing things to you in a vulnerable state. That's not our energy. Our energy is higher than that. We've all evolved, you know, and so you don't want to go back into the land of Babel, the land of confusion. Once the Lord has brought you out of something that could have taken you out. 
And if you get taken out, there is no path. There is no abundance. There is no fulfilling the prophecy. And who wants to keep coming back over and over being reincarnated only to, you know, keep starting over again when you got so far in your path. Don't let anything compromise, uh, make you compromise your path. Yeah. It's an unwise decision. Why? Because you're being judged. The higher ups are guiding your steps. It's a melancholy type of a feeling. It's like, oh, I won the lottery. I won $2.3 million, but I need people to share it with. Well, you need to find your people. This is really for somebody that is new to the channel. Like, that's what I just felt. Somebody just came across this channel and was like, oh, this is what I need. Yes, we've been waiting for you. It's been written. We knew that you were coming. We're just wondering how long it was going to take you to get out the karmic cycle and know that you were under judgment and my aunt lovingly guided you to your family. Okay. Show me what else I need to see. Yeah, it's a tower moment. The tower. Oh, that just fell out. Let me just grab that and just let it fall. Why not? The tower represents the truth in the matter. Represents you not being able to even stand in the energy of being in denial. There's no way, shape, or form that you can lie to yourself any further. Why? Because your intuition is telling you this is where you're supposed to be. Wherever you're at on this planet, whatever you're going through, okay, you're going to have to put your ego to the side, control your emotions, make a head over heart decision, and just remember you're not the only person going through that experience. That there are other people going through that experience. That you have everything on the inside of you to navigate your way out of that experience. If you get still and you say, Spirit, I need you to open up a door for me. I need you to open up a road for me. I've prayed that so many times and Spirit comes right on time. I'm like, 